Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the coefficient of variation in SPSS. Now, I'm going to do it uh, based on two different approaches, which are basically trying to answer two different questions. In the first case, I'm going to calculate, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate a coefficient of variation for each case. So in this uh, example, there are 10 items. And each person has responded to the 10 items. So each person would have their own mean and standard deviation. Uh, so how would we calculate the coefficient of variation for case 1 and case 2, 3, etc.? Uh, so that's one instance of analyzing data via the coefficient of variation. I'll show you how to do that. The other case, which is probably more common, is where you're calculating the coefficient of variation for a particular variable. And in this case, I've got data where uh, scores were calculated from a 7-point Likert scale inventory versus a 7-point Likert scale inventory. And the question is, well, uh, is one uh, approach to measurement, they're measuring the same thing, they're all the same items, uh, is using a 7-point Likert scale going to be associated with greater variability, uh, controlling for the difference in the means? And if, you, if you're not quite familiar with the coefficient of variation, I'll encourage you to uh, check out a video I've got. It's a more lecture-based uh, video on the coefficient of variation. Uh, so if you don't understand it, please view that first and then uh, view this video, because I'm assuming that you know what a coefficient of variation is. Okay, so in the first approach, where you're calculating a coefficient of variation for each case, well, fortunately in SPSS, there's actually a function that uh, allows you to calculate that quite quickly. You just go into Transform, Compute, and I'm going to call it COV for coefficient of variation. Now, the function group that it uh, is a part of is statistical, and it's this over here, CFVAR. So CFVAR will calculate the coefficient of variation for all cases based on the variables that you include in the uh, brackets. So I need to do that for all 10 items that are in this scale. And 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. All right, that's all you have to do. And that's going to calculate the coefficient of variation uh, for each person, then it's going to be included as a variable called COV. So case 1 had a coefficient of variation of 0 0.41. Second person, 0 0.16, 0 0.19, 0 0.16. So we can see that there's variability in the coefficient of variation uh, across the 100 people that are included in this uh, sample. Now, so that's the first approach. If you need to calculate a coefficient of variation for each case, just use that function. In the second case, which is probably more common, uh, it's where you want to calculate the coefficient of variation for a variable. So this uh, total score, uh, which isn't based on these 10 items, by the way. It's based on a lot more items. Uh, based on this total score 5-point Likert scale, there's going to be a mean and standard deviation associated with this, and there's also going to be a mean and standard deviation associated with the 7.1. Now, I'll actually calculate that just to check out uh, what the means are, means and standard deviation, because that's how you would normally have to calculate the coefficient of variation, is you'd have to do it by hand. But I'll show you a trick on how to do it in SPSS so you don't have to do it by hand. So you'd have to use the standard deviation here, divide it by the mean, and then you'd have your coefficient of variation. Well, the way to trick SPSS into doing it, and I'll note before I continue that there's actually uh, in complex, um, in the uh, complex samples, there's actually uh, an uh, approach to doing a coefficient of variation much more, e you don't have to do a trick. So if you have complex samples, just go into complex samples descriptives and you'll see quite clearly, I don't have access to it unfortunately, but there'll be an option to actually click for the coefficient of variation. Now for the rest of us who don't have complex samples, uh, you have to trick SPSS into calculating the coefficient of variation. And how you do that, the first step is to calculate a variable with a series of ones. Okay, so I'm going to call it 1. And it's, this is how you create a variable with a bunch of 1s for each person. All right, so here's that variable that was just created with a bunch of 1s. So everyone's got a 1 associated with them. Actually, it went beyond. Uh, it went up to 200 because I used to have a sample size of 200, but this is 100. 
Uh, so now I'm going to go into, now that I've got that, I just have to go into Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Ratio. And that's going to, this is going to